What is up and what is good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm SoCal Shaolin. I'm in Torrance, California. About to hit up a new toy store I've never been to before. Toys of the Universe right here behind me. Uh, one of my followers on Instagram, Steve, he hit me up about this place, told me to check it out. It's a cool shop and I'm here, finally here. So I'm excited to check it out. I've been following on my Instagram. Uh, they post a lot of cool toys and video games too. They're big video game uh, sellers as well. So I'm excited to check it out. If there's your first time tuning into the channel, uh, please subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with my toy hunting adventures and also you can go back and check out my past ones as well. So let's head on in, Toys of the Universe. Getting into the first showcase here, we have a whole bunch of wrestling figures as well as more showcases here to my left filled with awesome toys and collectibles. These are the Remco AWA wrestling figures. I actually have all of these but there are some gems in here like that Scott Hall RIP in the back. We even got some other wrestling figures. They got that onion head. I actually have that one in the collection. Knock off. We got some bendies here. Mabel. <laughs> I haven't seen Mabel since the 90s. There's some thumb wrestlers there as well. And a couple of other little bear breaks and things like that as well. In this case, Polly Pocket, which is a 90s toy line. My sister had a whole bunch of those growing up. And here we have some very expensive cookie jars, but very awesome cookie jars. Uh, very cool. It's a Castle Grey School. This McDonald's, McDonald Land was an amazing thing to see there uh, very tempted very cool that uh, superpowers Hall of Justice awesome piece for any superpowers collector Mega Man 4 with the box awesome to see that and here's lots of like, custom Game Boy systems handheld system that I think uh, customers make and they're selling them here in this showcase and lots of uh, Game Boy games. You got some Super Famicom stuff, Japanese stuff. There goes Tournament Fighters for the Ninja Turtles on Sega Genesis. Awesome pizza thrower there, as well as one of the skateboard. All right, here we have a Sega Dreamcast kiosk that was probably in some store, maybe a Best Buy, Toys R Us. I don't know, but awesome. Uh, Sega Dreamcast, one of my favorite systems of all time. That very cool display there, Transformers in the movie. You got Pee Wee's Playhouse playset, and then the Dueling Dudes Ninja Turtles up there it was like the Rock 'em Sock 'em robot version. But here, this showcase right here, I like a lot because there's all kinds of action figures thrown in from all kinds of different toy lines. You got stuff from the 80s, 90s. You got some Smurf stuff there, speeder bike. In the box, the bandolier strap by Chewbacca from Return of the Jedi. You got a whole bunch of street sharks here, which are cool. Very awesome toy line. Skeleton Warriors. Awesome as he's got the Warriors anywhere. I love that toy line. That cartoon is actually a really good cartoon. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely try to get your hands on some Skeleton Warriors and check out that cartoon. It's a short lived series, but it was amazing. I wish it would have made more. Here we got some more figures. You got a Joker there. That had my eye on that shadow car you saw just a few seconds ago. We got some vintage Disney items here, and as well as some McDonald's Happy Meal toys. We got some changeables, we got some hamburgers there, and then a very cool Batman suitcase there for like kids. There's a fantasy figure collector's uh, case, carrying case, a generic case, and a shadow collector case. What have you guys ever seen that? Incredible. I didn't even know they made one for the shadow action figures here we have a city fighter this is like a rack toy right here uh, they had like a nine and ten stores 75 bucks pretty rare I mean I never seen it but it's cool to check it out and then Shogun Warriors guys I love Shogun Warriors 
I'll peep that awesome thriller head right there. That thing is insane. Uh, but I love Shogun Warriors. It's a toy line I do want to collect. I have the Godzilla Shogun Warriors, but those robots, they're amazing. In this showcase, we have a whole bunch of bootleg stuff from Mexico. There you see those 10 and 12 inch Skeletors, these even a Stratos, a Darth Vader, which is very cool to see. And then we have some very rare stuff here. We got a Dino Saucer figure by Glasslight. Check it out. I think that was what from Argentina. And then you got a Linkso from Thundercats. This is a Grail piece. This was this Strata Coach by Breakstar. The thing is in mint condition. Chris looks like it just came out of a, a shipper box from Kenner, ready to be put out at like a Woolworth store or something. And then here we have a Turbo Man. This is an original Turbo Man, not the Super 7 one from Walmart, which is cool because it looks exactly the same. But that's an actual vintage one. And then down here we got lots of other knickknacks. There's some cheap stuff, and then you got some. A GoBots is the GoBots was very cool, very weird. I don't collect GoBots, but I was tempted to pick that thing up. It's one of their big figures. These BC bikers, oh my god! Thank God my girlfriend was there with me because she talked me out of picking those up. We don't need to collect another toy line, especially a weird one like BC bikers. But those were cool to see. And then we got some more wrestlers. We got a couple Hasbro stuff I have already. There's you got a AWA or a triple A, I should say, my bad. A heavy metal figure, men on card. You got a LOD World Warrior a wrestling buddy there, and then the Hulk Hogan. Here we have a Supernaturals Tomb of Doom box set and there you have the play set out on display with a whole bunch of Supernaturals. Man, I had a few of these as a kid. I was so tempted to pick some of these up. I took every will of my being not to pick up some of the Supernaturals. It's just another toy line, you know. Uh, once you get one, you gotta keep going, right? And here we have some awesome Kaijus there. This is some rare stuff. It's very cool. Got that common rider there holding up the mask of his hand. And here we have an awesome Pokemon shield. Like what is it, like a switch display piece that was probably some kind of store, maybe Best Buy, GameStop, I have no idea. Got some blow mode toys up there as well. And then uh here's some of the booths that have some video games they have. Uh what's cool about Toys of the Universe is kind of like an antique store. Some of these booths belong to, you know, sellers, local sellers that want to sell their stuff and all these things are on consignment to the toys of the universe. So very cool that he does that. That's uh, one way to bring in more, you know, like merchandise uh, to the store, which is an awesome idea. And I mean, that's pretty much what antique stores do, right? But it's cool to see it at a, a toy store, collectible toy store. Here we have some more, you know, NES, and you got some PlayStation 1 games. Games, you know, I used to collect a lot of this stuff, but I kind of got a modded Xbox, so I, that's where I play my vintage uh, retro games. 
Very cool Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. This store display here, awesome. You know, I love me some store displays. Not too long ago, we got that header for uh, superpowers, the McFarlane superpowers. A couple of turtles on card. You got some of the classics like the turtles and Bebop Rocksteady right there. A couple of random Ninja Turtle items loose. You got some Master of the Universe figures here. Of course, Skeletor and He-Man. You got to have those uh, to start your collection. And a couple of G.I. Joe play sets here that I'm not familiar with. I don't collect G.I. Joe, but these are some big play sets right here. There's a very cool radio control R2-D2. And then it seems like once my girlfriend picked up that play school Ewok treehouse, I keep seeing it everywhere now. But it's an awesome set. Don't get me wrong. It's a very cool set. Here we have a whole bunch of just masters. You got some Star Wars stuff. You have Pirates of Dark Water. Things thrown in there. Some gargoyles. Even got a Kobe Bryant jersey because we are in the Los Angeles area. Kobe. Rest in peace. One of the goats in the game. Much love to Kobe out here in the LA uh, area. Here goes some uh, Marvel stuff. You got a Cool, like a cassette player there. Hmm. I'm gonna have to take a closer look at that thing. You got a ring full of LJ ends. As you saw, there was also some homies there for you. So Vatos out there like to collect the homies. Teddy Rupskin there. Very cool. Then we got some uh, Disney things up there, like the Incredibles. A couple items here in this Detoff. There's an Egon like a rat king there's a bucky o'hare land of the lost figures and for you transformers collectors out there here is a transformers case I'm not too familiar with transformers i don't collect them it's growing up but i saw hot rod there's a jet fire there some of the grails there that you guys uh, probably will want to have in your collection some popular pieces there but always cool always I had a few maybe like two or three as a kid and that was it but man Transformers are cool there's so many of them so many of these figures and it is the Halloween season so one thing that I thought was cool about Toys of the Universe is it had a couple of Halloween items here for self vintage uh, Halloween decorations there's an awesome Hogan there some of those Halloween items there for decorations vintage stuff which is cool and then back here we have a knockoff small soldiers figure combat commander tell me that does not look like chip hazard guys it does but down here we have some very cool uh, vintage like Halloween decorations like blow modes this stuff is amazing man this is, stuff is so cool it's like from like the 60s maybe 70s not too sure somewhere in that era but man, just check it out. There's, there's even a, a Santa Claus one right there. And here we have uh, some stuff that just came into the store. A JC and the Wheel Warriors vehicle. As well as this Rocksteady Gatekeeper with a trophy. This thing is, is an amazing uh, piece. This is a grill item for sure. For Ninja Turtle collectors out there. And then behind the counter of the store is more gems. Here's a Barnyard Commando plushie i didn't even know they made those born here commando plushie uh, which is insane i never seen the first time i've ever seen it did not know they even made it uh but a whole bunch of cool little items back here you got some mass stuff you got a 3030 brave star horse figure there so even got some round coat karate kid figures and uh just cool stuff here at toys of the universe in torrance california if you're in the area definitely hit them up check them up and uh give them a follow on instagram All right, guys, I am out of the store. I got a couple of things here in my hand that I'm gonna show you when I get home, back in the toy room. If you wanna support the channel even more, check out my official SoCal Shaolin merch store, link in the description below. Here, you'll be able to order SCS logo t-shirts for you to rock while you go toy hunting. You can get them in white, 
black or any other color that's available here for your liking. We even have some hoodies as well as some special designs I had made for conventions like the ones you see here and even have stuff for the ladies and check back often as I'll have limited edition designs that will only be available for a short amount of time. Merch store link in the description below to order your SCS logo shirts today. Back home in the toy room before I show you my pickups uh, first I want to say thanks a big thanks to Tony the owner of Toys of the Universe awesome toy store in Torrance California you guys are ever in the area live near there have you been there definitely check them out also give them a follow on instagram uh toys of the universe they do a lot of whatnot auctions uh, so definitely check them out uh, if you're into like video games vintage toys they have it all there uh, very cool store so thanks again tony uh, for showing love uh, during my visit and i also want to thank uh, there's uh, some viewers there of the channel which was very cool uh, to meeting to meet you guys uh danny picked up an awesome kaiju figure congrats he was very stoked to pick that up and i didn't get the other guy's name but uh, he goes by toy fury on instagram he does a lot of sales of toys buying selling vintage toys uh, so it was very cool so definitely check him out if you want to pick up some stuff that uh, he has for sale uh, like i said awesome visit i have been wanting to go there for a while now uh, one of my viewers steve hit me up and let me know about the store so i've been following him on instagram toys of the universe uh finally today we had a disney day disney california adventure and we decided to head on over to toys of the universe after we left disney uh i'm glad i did awesome store had a lot of fun a lot of cool stuff in there that you saw in the video uh but as for my pickups uh I picked up three items that uh one i've been trying to pick up for a while is a toy line i've been trying to finish up as well from the 90s by canner and the other two things were just unexpected things that i didn't I saw and like had to have them. Didn't want to leave them there behind. Uh, also got some great deals as well. Thanks again, Tony, for that. Um, the first item here, before I show you, I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? That's right, the shadow. I picked up the Mirage SX100, the vehicle from the toy line, sealed in the box, brand new. Awesome right here. I don't even think... This vehicle was in the movie. I know in the movie he drives around in a taxi. Uh, one of his uh, followers. Because he gives them rings. And you know whenever he needs favors. That he gives them these rings. To, to call him you know, to do these favors. One of them is a taxi driver. So that's how he kind of gets around in the movie. I don't remember if we had a car like this in the movie. I don't know. But anyways. It was cool to add this to the collection. I've been wanting to pick up the vehicles. I think I'm missing maybe two figures. Of the line and I also need that taxi as well that taxi is one uh, that I want to pick up as well to finish up the collection but this thing is sealed eventually it will get opened up guys eventually it will get opened up whenever I have uh, somewhere to display these figures uh, not an expensive toy line which is cool which is part of the reason why I will be opening this thing up in the future uh, but the vehicles are a little bit more pricier than the action figures but cool it's an awesome vehicle right here and it has like, weapon features too he shoots up some kind of missiles through the hood which is awesome and whenever i do open up these shadow figures in the future these Ken Rash figures i'm gonna need a place to store them right so what better place to store them than in its very own shadow action figure carrying case that's right i did not know they even had this for the shadow action figure line uh, but i guess i shouldn't even be surprised because they made carrying cases for pretty much every toy line in the 80s and 90s as well. Uh, but the shadow, I had, like I said, I'd never seen it before. He had it there on the shelf. And I just, I was on the fence about it. But then, you know, after some consideration, it didn't take much. Uh, I, I picked it up. I couldn't leave it behind. This thing's awesome. The artwork on clear cases are always awesome. Here we got the shadow on this side. She won Khan over here, the villain cool action shot there uh, probably the, what's at the brooklyn bridge right here he's jumping on top trying to get on and then the back is awesome artwork right here the new york city skyline there and you got that dagger and the shadow logo right there it's very cool 1994 very awesome and then you got that tagline of course from the movie from the top and then has a cool handle this thing is mint condition, guys. It even comes with uh, 
all the little inserts here. You got the top one and the bottom. So it says if it's 12 action figures. Did they even make 12 action figures in the Shadow toy line? <laughs> I don't think they did. Maybe like 8 or 10. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, I don't even think they made 12 figures to put up to be able to fit this with the Shadow action figures. But that's an awesome pick up there. I'm glad to pick this up. Um, I like picking up Karen case I just want to can. I have an awesome Ghostbusters one up there. And I still need a Ninja Turtles one and a Masters Universe one. I haven't picked any of those up yet. All right, so this last item was my favorite pickup of the day. Uh, it's a weird, uh, uh, kind of a weird item. One of those things that, you know, in the 80s and 90s, they, man, they made so much stuff for toy lines, you know. So they make weird things. They even, like, Star Wars, they even made pencils, right? Uh, but this is one from the 80s. This is from the Marvel Secret Wars. For this is from 1983. And it is a little cassette player from the Marvel Shiki Wars toy line. Take along. They call it because you can take it along wherever you go. Not sure it works. It has batteries in it. Everything turns on. Mm -hmm. The little things move. I just need to find a cassette tape to test it. And hopefully it does work. But I mean, I didn't buy it to jam out or anything. But it's going to go in my Shiki Wars display case over here awesome you got spider-man up here chilling captain america very cool and then you got that awesome marvel superhero secret wars logo right there on the side pretty cool you can even put headphones and jam out on your own right when you were a kid but yeah this is very cool i like this piece it's just it's just it's a weird item right man they made so much cool stuff especially secret wars i mean i was talking to danny there at the at the shop at the toys in the universe store I was telling how they had Secret Wars gumball machines that I saw. I think it was at Misfit Toys in Houston. They had one. Um, but they made so much stuff. They made uh, water guns. They had all kinds of weird stuff for Secret Wars. Uh, but this is very cool. This is one that I had never seen before. But it was awesome to get for the collection. I'm going to display it probably there in the case. Uh, but those were my pickups there from Toys of the Universe. Again, awesome toy store in Torrance, California. Give them a follow on Instagram. And yeah, like I said, if you're ever in the area, check them out. Uh, they're always getting stuff. Man, as I was there, they're bringing in uh, new items there that he was uh, buying to put out of the store. They had some JC and the Wheel of Warriors stuff. They had that uh, Gatekeeper Rocksteady figure there with the trophy. That thing is a rare piece, rare piece. And uh, yeah, he had that one out for sale if you guys want to get it. Uh, it's a little pricey figure, but it's an awesome figure. Definitely a grail piece for your... Ninja Turtles collection. You can see here I am a fan of Turtles, right? Uh, but again, thanks everybody for watching the video. Thanks for all your support watching. Uh, you guys that I met over there at Toys Universe, including Tony, thanks uh, for watching the video, supporting the channel. And if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Uh, leave any comments below. Anything, even if it's just to say hi, leave the comments. That's how, you know, just leaving comments and likes helps the algorithm so more people can. Uh, check out this video on the search engine and it pops up on more people's uh, searches when they're looking for toys and videos that's the biggest way you can help i also have a merch store now below you can get so cash Allen shirt uh link in the description below you don't have to but cool if you do always helps uh, any little thing helps but but likes comments subscribes those are the best things you can do to help support the channel help it grow and yeah thanks let me know what you thought of the store what did you see in the video that you would have picked up for yourself let me know if you've been to toys of the universe let me know what what some of your pickups were if you went there uh, and again thanks everybody for watching also give me a follow on instagram at soulcast challenge you can see what i'm doing in between videos and again thanks for all your support guys uh reason why i do it man because uh, you guys enjoy the videos and tell, tell me how much you like them and uh, it's always cool meeting you guys out there when I, I'm out hunting as well. And like I said, uh, if you ever see me out hunting anywhere, uh, definitely stop me and say, what's up, man? I like meeting you guys. And thanks again for watching. Uh, good luck on everyone's toy hunts out there. I'm SoCal Shaolin. I am out.